Hey everyone, how are you out there? Today is September 7th, 2019. On this great Saturday, I'm having a small little event over to my house with the ladies. My first event at my new home, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to do a quick YouTube right quick before everyone comes, because it is that time. So I'm reading from my book, Our Bread, for 300 yeah, 365 days. And um, it's a great book. So this one for September 7th on this great Saturday is um, Independence Day. Independence Day. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my salvation and my refuge is in God. Psalm 62, 7. Psalm 62, 7. We only become independent when we depend entirely on God. As long as we try to be independent from God, we become dependent. Dependent on circumstances, on our condition, on our academic qualifications, on the pastor, come on y'all, on the government, on money, on medication, on attention, on relationships. To depend on God is to depend on the world, on the word that never fails us. Guiding your life exclusively by this code of conduct. It's, it's to serve the Lord with all your might, to give your life 100% to him and decide that it no longer belongs to you. This is foolishness to the world. I repeat, this is foolishness to the world. You no longer rely on your possessions, on relationships, on money, on your job, on religion. Come on. You rely on God's word. Your refuge is in him. Your salvation is in him. You need to have faith and trust that he won't fail and that all things work together for our good to those who have surrendered their life to him. Give your whole life. Give your whole life so that all his promises can be fulfilled. God wants to have a partnership with you. With you. To bring down walls. But you must depend on him and not no one else. You can only be independent when you depend entirely on God. I hope this reading helps someone today. And remember, get a relationship with God. Don't depend on the pastor. Don't depend on your loved ones. Don't depend on your money, your job, your resources. Depend on God wholeheartedly. He will send you whoever it is that he needs to be in your life to get you where it needs to be. So go out there and minister to others. Love on one another. Agape love, you guys. Not our love, but agape love, okay? Go out there and love on others. And just, just be who God wants you to be. He will guide you. Trust me. I have a testimony. I have a testimony coming up in the month of November 2016. I'm sorry. Two. <laughs> Let me stop. It's coming up November 16, 2019 from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Always on a Saturday. I will be um, sending out flyers and it will be co-ed meeting. We welcome all. We're celebrating everyone's birthday in the month of November and December because this will be our last meeting for the month of November, well, the year of 2019. You guys have a great day. Stay cool. Drink plenty of water. And remember, trust in God wholeheartedly. Okay? Stay true to God. And always remember, stay true to self before you can be true to anyone else. God bless you guys.